Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Bruins Farm. Today we're at the Sailorsburg, or also known as the Blue Ridge Flea Market. So, if we have grape tomato in the singles, yeah, there should be some Juliettes there. Okay. Oh, I saw a Juliet. You, you find the Juliet? That's uh, great. Okay. Don't buy them all. I need some for the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are the next day back on the farm. We gotta get the truck unloaded this morning. We gotta bag corn and we're hoping, maybe possibly, we're gonna get into the field and plant our early season coal crops. As far as market goes, it's been going very well. It's actually seeming to me like it's going quite a bit better than last year. I don't know what changed it. Even as far as vendors at the market go, there's just a lot more. So that's great. It's good to see all the people out and people enjoying their time. For a little while, I was a bit nervous because Everything we had transplanted was just so small and I thought it was gonna take a while to come on. But with these warm days, stuff's going a lot faster than what it usually does. You can see the petunias are still small, but they're already coming out in some flower. The impatience are actually ready to take. We took a couple flats and now on Wednesday, which will be the next time we go to market, all these will just about be ready. The marigolds are just starting to pop. You can see a little bit of color on them right here. And like I said, again, in two or three days, once we go to market, they'll probably be wide open. It seems like every year, the last thing we get to sell is our hollyhocks, just because they take so long to grow. It's one of the first things I plant, and it's one of the last things to leave the greenhouse. And now that we've sold a lot of our sunflowers, we had a chance to get these on waters, which makes it so much easier because now we can just put the hose in there and water the whole batch at one time. We still do have one more batch of sunflowers coming on. That's right there. And I think we have a couple more Oh no. Oh yeah, right here and over here. Which, once we sell all these, which will probably be on Wednesday, this batch right here, then we'll load this up with the rest of those. All the peppers here, which is these two tables, and the coal crops out here is everything for the farm. And this is what we're going to plant today, if we get the time. They're rooted beautifully. If you've seen my previous video, you'll know that this is all of our vine crops. We got planted now. These are in plugs, unlike our retail sales are just in a little pack in plain dirt. And the reason for that is because these hold together a lot better when we're smushing them into the ground, going at a pretty fast pace through the field. Also, if you didn't know, this is our seed room, which is where we start all of our plants for the greenhouse. And so not only do we keep it warmer, but we have thermostats where we can plug our heat mats in. That way we can regulate how warm they do get throughout the night and throughout the day. But because our seed geraniums are taking a little bit longer to bloom than we would like, we decided to put them in here and hope that they're gonna bloom faster, maybe push them a little bit harder, because by Wednesday, we really wanna start taking these to market, but if they're not showing color, the customers probably aren't gonna to wanna to buy them. All of them out here in the big house are butted up, every single one. And some of them, you can just see a tiny bit of color. But as far as I'm actually flowering, 
There's really none right now. I think I just heard Frank show up. Good morning, Frank. Hey, good morning. Ouch. Frank right now is working on mixing up the last of our soil. Getting a pretty full tub mixed up because we're gonna just be doing our zinnias for the market today and we're gonna be doing for our sunflowers for the field. And then it won't be too long, we'll be doing the mid-season coal crop. So we're gonna need all that. Along with doing still some hanging baskets of tomatoes and geranium, stuff like that. Sammy's working on transplanting the last of our super hot, which is the Trinidad scorpions. Right here. They were in a 72 cell tray and now we're gonna move them onto a 2401, which is about two or three times the size of what they're in now. We used to put them in the four and a half inch pots, but we found that not only do they not tip over when hauling them to market, but it's just so much easier to haul a lot more in the 2401. So we, we can actually haul over double. So that's the way I think we're gonna go from now on. And I totally forgot, dad just came in and informed me that we need to get our mid-season coal crops done. So that's what I'm gonna be working on because I'm actually a couple days late. I think we can make them catch up just with the fertilizer and it being so warm, but it's gotta get done right now. So I'm sitting here making out my tags for all of my cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. We don't do kale for our mid-season, we do kale for early and late. And so this year though, we're gonna be doing a new variety of kohlrabi, which is the red kohlrabi. So it's usually just green. This year it's gonna be red. And the magazine or the book that we got, it looks really cool, so I'm excited to see how it looks and how people wanna buy it. Just like I did all spring, I'm doing the same thing for all my coal crops. I got all my tags printed out. This right here is Flash, oh, it's upside down, which is a collard green. Now I'm not doing a full flat of these, so I'm gonna do half the tray in Flash. I'll flip it around and then I'll do the other half with kohlrabi, which if you don't know what a kohlrabi is, you'll have to look up a picture of it, but it tastes like between a cabbage and a turnip. Most people eat it raw with salt. And the only reason, oops, I'll say down again, is that, that, the only reason that's green right there is because my printer was running out of its tags, and so I had to put more film in it, or whatever you wanna call it. And so there's kohlrabi, the other side is flash and that tray is done now I'm ready to seed well actually fill it with dirt and then seed 512 seeds in here I'm all ready to go all my seed trays are tagged just got my first one filled gonna fill the second one right now and then Sammy is working on the zinnias for the market a couple years ago I tilled up I don't even know how big it is just a really just a nice size section out front for a patch of flowers at first I did sunflowers and zinnias, but since I found out zinnias like to bloom all summer long and sunflowers only go just till they die, just till they get one blossom and then die, I went with all zinnias now. So she's gonna seed them into a 72 cell tray and then once they've grown enough, we'll take them out to the market and get them planted. While I'm seeding, mom is working on soaking plugs for our pickles and zucchini. I have three trays to do yet. She just soaked four trays. That's what they look like after they're done. Out here, she's soaking them right now. These have to be soaked in a warm water solution. 
We actually put some kind of chemical in for the bugs that obviously doesn't harm like ourselves, but we didn't do it this year. Dad's just gonna spray over top later on. Wow, that water's like hot actually. And so right now she's got these soaking. Here is the plug before it's soaked. And as you can see, it gets to about three times, if not four times the size. And it takes about, I think, seven to 10 minutes, something like that. Sammy and Frank are over here bagging corn. Looks like they're on the home stretch. All these ones are already done and tied. These ones are just done. They have to be weighed yet. After my tray gets filled with dirt, I'll bring it here, make my impressions in the soil so my seed has somewhere to sit. Certain seeds are very picky and don't like to be very deep. Other ones like to be deep. So you kind of got to know your seed and know what depth it likes to be at. It goes in my tray holder. And now I'm ready to begin. Here's what everything looks like. Everything is planted and then covered with vermiculite. I think there's like 10 trays all together. And then right here, Sammy and Frank are working to plant our first patch of pickles and zucchini. These are the plugs mom just got done. Then they went through, made a little hole. And now they're planting three seeds in each one. Not that good at it. What's that? I'm not that good at it. <laughs> It's kind of a tedious job. Put some fingers. <laughs> That's not good <really> tedious. <laughs> okay. For now what I'm working on is the water tank. We never got this cleaned out last year. And so I gotta get this water tank onto this wagon, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think I can just push it on get the braces around it so it doesn't fall off, and then get in there and clean it out, do whatever needs to be done, because we need this tomorrow morning 
to plant our coal crops. I was talking to dad, he said he's just not gonna be ready today to plant, but we wanna start first thing tomorrow. I'm almost afraid to look in here. Oh yeah, that's yummy. There's nothing in there besides just plain water, but with it being left in there from, I don't know, last like September, that's just what it looks like. I figured while I got everything going downhill, I might as well try and drain as much out as I can. Actually, it's, it's open. Oh jeez. Let's see if I can turn it to where the nozzle's down a little more. Everything actually worked out there in the past like 15 minutes. You seen all the green scum in there? Well, I was trying to push this onto this wagon myself and I accidentally tipped the whole wagon backwards. And that's when it gave me the idea, hey, while I got it tipped down, let's just open the valve and I'll run all that scum out down in the grass, which it's just water, so it's not gonna hurt anything. And it worked really, really well. There was like probably at least five to 10 gallons. Now there's like one or two. So got all that out of there. Then dad came and helped me push it on here, got the boards fastened down and we are ready to go. Hey, are you coming? She always has to come in the Kubota from this side. I don't know why. Come on. There you go. So I'm actually almost done getting this thing cleaned. You can still see a lot of like particles of the just gunk that's in there. But I was actually inside with the broom. It's like a soft bristled broom. And I scrubbed the whole thing down and flushed it out. I'm gonna flush it out again. You can see how clean it comes. And then I think we'll be ready to go. That's basically nothing compared to what it was when I started. And so to finish off today, Sammy and I are gonna unload the corn here at the market. I fit perfect under this little thing. That's what I'm going to call it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And always remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work.